up guys, Soundman back with another review. Today we are taking a look at the long overdue, because I've had this for over a week. We're going to be taking a look at the Chucky, Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany 2-pack. This is an amazing set. Now I did pick this up from Big Bad Toy Store. If you guys want to pick this up or check out Big Bad Toy Store, make sure you guys use my link in the description down below. So this is really cool because you have the packaging that actually folds open, but before we get into that, we'll look at the artwork. The front has a really cool poster right here, or images I guess you can say. You have Tiffany on the right and Chucky on the left. I love how they made the eye colors. You know, they give them the actual color and the characters themselves are black and white. So it reads on the top, Chucky gets lucky. And then, of course, the bottom, it reads, Bride of Chucky, Ultimate Chucky and Tiffany. On the side, on one side, you have an image of Tiffany. And this is a really nice image. I really like that. I wish they would have came with that head sculpt and with that finger gesture. I think that would have been cool to pose her in that way. And same thing goes with Chucky on the opposite side. You get a really cool image of Chucky right there. Uh, right here on the back. And they do come with several accessories. So I'll read out the accessories you get. You get a total of six interchangeable heads two pistols, two shovels, two knives, a axe, a baby bass, what is that, baby bastard bottle, necklace, and more. So you get a, you get tons of accessories in here. And I like how this, the, the kind of like the background over here is like Chuck, Chucky's body parts. You can see how it's all stitched up. And then you can open this up. It's got the Velcro inside. And on one side, you have an image of Tiffany and Chucky right over here. And then on the right, you have the open window. And it shows you all of the different accessories that come in here. Again, this thing is loaded with accessories. So, but this is a pricey set. I got I got this at Big Bad Toy Store, but when I went to Target and the price there is almost $60 for this set. So, to me that's kind of expensive. I mean, if you guys are okay with that price, seems a little bit pricey to pay $60 at Target. So, that's it for the packaging here. Um, on the bottom it has the credits, you know, who helped make this figure possible. Let's go ahead and open it up. Take the figures out and take a close look. We're gonna see if this is a pickup or a pass. All right guys, so as I mentioned before, there is tons of accessories. So we're gonna run through the different accessories that you do get in this set. So you got two different knives. You have two different kitchen knives right here. So you have this one, which looks pretty good. So you have this regular kitchen knife, and I'm pretty sure they probably reuse this for a lot of other figures. So you have that one, and then you have this one right over here and this one kind of uh, looks a little bit on the uh, you know it's a little bit different as far as the blade goes it's a lot thinner and then you have the handle right over there so two different knives that you get and like I always say guys make sure you are careful you know if kids are handling these because these are very sharp now you also get a pair of shovels so you have this longer version of the shovel right over here and the uh, the handle actually looks really good see the wood part is sculpted really nice and the end piece you can see the weathering on there they did a great job in sculpting this. So you get a longer shovel, and then you also get a shorter shovel right here, and this one has a handle on the end right there. And again, same thing, they did a great job in the wood, and right there is a shovel. This one's a little more dirtier, a little more rustier, so two different shovels that you get in the set. You also get the container. You know what, it's been a while since I've seen the Bride of Chucky. I mean, you guys can let me know uh, in, the, in the comments below, what, what did they keep in here? I totally forgot what they kept in here, but it looks like it got some kind of like a liquid in there. And then you also get this accessory right over here. I think this is the baster, if I'm uh, if I saying that correctly. It's kind of like what you, you know, use to pick up liquid. So you have that right there. They also come with a big ax with a red handle. And then you have the blade right over here. So you get an ax. You also get a really big champagne bottle. This is actually really nice. And you have uh, some of the writing right there. And then it's obviously the top has been opened, but you get a champagne bottle. This is pretty cool because you can also use this for other figures. I mean, not just for this for this set. You can use it for like Marvel Legends or other seven inch scale figures, but you do get the champagne bottle as well. You also get two handguns. So you get this smaller one right here. And this one's more silver with the brown handle. There's the uh, front of the the weapon there and then there's a top there's the back so pretty nice looking gun and then you also get a all black one right over here so you get this one here this is pretty nice as well and then there's the bottom so there's this gun here and you also have the necklace that they that it comes with and you can see the little designs on there and then it also has some of the the writing let me see if I can get a clear shot of that, but you have, let me move this chain out of the way. So you have the actual chain too, and then on the back of it, you also have some writing there. 
Tiffany comes with a pair of interchangeable arms. We'll get into that in a second because there's a different way you can display her. So she comes with a pair of arms. You have this head sculpt right over here, which I think looks great. This is obviously the wedding outfit. She's got the, the veil right here on the back. It's actual cloth material. The hair sculpt on this, everything about this looks great. Really, really nicely painted. And the sculpt looks good. I mean, that look at the eyes. Look at the big green eyes. They did a great job on that. Um, I haven't tested it on the figure yet, so I don't know if it's gonna need hot water to switch out the heads. You also have this one of Tiffany. Look at this one's a really angry look. And her teeth are kind of yellow. The eyes are kind of like a greenish yellow, but she's got a really angry facial expression. And then the hair, you can see it's kind of like blonde with a little bit of black on top. Again, very nicely sculpted and very nicely painted. So you have this head sculpt for her. Chucky, we have this one right over here. You can see this one's obviously battle damage and you can see a lot of the scars and some of the staples that were put on there. It's kind of like a laughing expression. Uh, great detail again. You can see part of the hair is missing. This one has the the hair kind of slipped back more And you can see he's missing a piece of hair there you got a little bald spot with a little bit of scars there But awesome facial facial expression the, the sculpting and the design on this look really good Then you have this one right over here. This one's more of like a uh, Kind of like an angry look and like look like a little grin Same same kind of designs as far as the scars go on him. This one has a uh, the staples on the neck. So this one has a little bit more staples than the other one did. So you guys, if you guys didn't know that there is staples on, on some of the, uh, the scars on some of the head sculpts and the other ones don't have it. Uh, this one has the hair more so down. The other one had it pulled back. So there's that head sculpt right there. All right, so here's some of the interchangeable hands that you get. So this is Tiffany's hands right over here. And the way you can tell obviously is because she does have painted nails. So you have these ones over here and then you have these ones for Chucky. And you can see obviously he has some scars on there on the top. All right guys, so the first character we're gonna be taking a look at is Chucky. We got Charles Lee Ray right over here. And this one is a different head sculpt again. So you get a total of three different head sculpts for each of the characters so you can see that one right there and then I'll show you all of the head sculpts uh, a little bit towards the end of the video But you have that head sculpt right there And then again, this one has the hair kind of slipped back and you have this outfit right over here So you can see all the designs on the overalls all the little characters and whatnot on there He's got a tear right here in this overall and you can, it's cool because you can still make out the shirt underneath And then he's got his long sleeve striped shirt and he's got a little gash right there on the right shoulder you can see he's got a little bit of a wound there. I'll show you guys some close-up shots on that as well. And then you have the uh, the overalls right here in the front. You can see there's a lot of a lot of uh, tears in them, and you can see some blood marks on there. And you have his little red shoes right over here, which are really cute. And then the bottom, he does have peg holes right there at the feet. And then on the back of the character, he does have, or the figure, he does have a little gash right there in the butt as well. Now we'll go over the articulation for Chucky. So the head can rotate. Uh, it kind of goes up and down, not too much. The arms do go in and out. You can see that. They go forward and back. He's got a bend at the elbow. He also has lower arm rotation. He has rotation at the hand and he does have a hinge. Uh, let's see, he doesn't have, he does have waist articulation, but the overalls is hindering that. The legs do go in and out, forward and back. He's got a bend at the knee. He also has uh, rotation in the foot and that's pretty much about it. You can kind of tilt it side to side. All right, so I put a different head sculpt on here. So it's not difficult to switch the heads out. So I put this head sculpt on here and then we'll put this one right over here. This one is actually more of my, my uh, favorite head sculpt out of the three. Yeah, see this one, let's see, we're probably gonna have to add a little bit of pressure. All right, so I got that head sculpt in here. This one required a little bit more pressure in here, so just be careful with your figures, okay guys? I mean, if you need to add, put them in hot water just to loosen it up, then I highly recommend you do that. I'll show you a side-by-side -side of all three of the head sculpts right here so you can see how different they do look. I think they look absolutely incredible. NECA did a great job in these sculpts here. All right guys, so here we have Tiffany, and I think for a lot of collectors, this is gonna be the main reason why people are gonna pick this set up, because I think NECA did a Tiffany doll several years back. I actually don't own the set. I know they did a two-pack several years back, but I don't know if they released her just by herself. I mean, you guys can let me know in the comments below. But looking at this one again, this is a different head sculpt. This is more of kind of like a uh, normal looking facial expression. You know, she's not angry. You can see she does have dimples. Love, I love the head sculpt on this one. Paint looks great, the eyes look great, and then again, the hair 
looks really nice as well. So you can see right here, she's wearing a necklace. And then, <laughs> and then right over here, the cool thing about this jacket, it's a soft rubber material and you can actually take it off. We'll get into all that in a second, but the uh, leather jacket looks cool. You can see all the zippers and all, you know, the pocket zippers and the, the buttons and everything on there. So that looks really good. They did a great job on there. And she also has a cloth dress. The bottom part of the dress is just cloth. And you'll see, you can lift this up over here. No perverts, no perverts guys. Cause she's actually, looks like she's actually, uh, She's got a strap right over here on the right leg. She's got black boots, black little high top boots there. And then she has uh, peg holes at the bottom right there of the boots. And then right here, if you look at the right breast, she has a tattoo that reads, you know, it says Chucky and then it has the heart with a knife right in it. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Uh, so there is uh, Tiffany right over here. So we'll go ahead and switch the head sculpts. All right, so I switched the head sculpt on this one and I put the more angry head sculpt on the body. Now, the the, uh, the peg on this one's a lot longer and thinner opposed to the Chucky one. So this one might require a little bit of force. If not, you probably will have to warm the head sculpt to get it to, to fit on the peg. So what we're gonna do now, let's take off this head sculpt right here. So we'll take off this one and I'm gonna show you, you can see the peg right here, how long this peg is. We're gonna put this head sculpt on here and I'm gonna show you how to put her in her, her uh, wedding dress uh, form. So we'll pop off the arms, cause the arms pop off. Hopefully I do all this on camera good. So we'll pop these out. And then you can remove this again. Like I said, the jacket is a uh, soft rubber material. And then you have her right here in the wedding outfit. So you can see that there. And I don't think these are marked as like left and right, but it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. So the arms, let's see how well these are gonna peg in. Yeah, it looks like they peg in pretty easy. So we peg that piece in, and then we'll peg this one in over here. And then there you go. So you have uh, her almost fully dressed. We gotta put some hands on her in a second, and then we'll go ahead and put the head sculpt with the veil on. Yeah, you can see this is gonna require some force. I think I got it in there for the most part. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. So yeah, it looks like we got her on here pretty good. Let me go ahead and uh, finish her up. And there you go, guys. You have Tiffany in her wedding outfit. Now, just because of this, just for this reason alone, you're gonna to wanna to pick up two of these sets just so you can display Tiffany this way. I mean, I think it looks fantastic. And then plus, I mean, you get, you know, different head sculpts, so you could also use another set to display Chucky, but I mean, it's kind of a pricey set though. All right, guys, so here is a shot of all three of the different head sculpts you get for Tiffany. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison. Which one is your favorite one? And there you have it, guys. There is my review. Hopefully, I review this, you know, as best, you know, as detailed as I could be. Um, this thing comes with a lot of accessories, guys. These, this is a, this is definitely, a, I guess you could say like the definition of a ultimate because you get two head sculpts for each character, you get tons of accessories, but then again, you have to realize there's two figures in these, so you're gonna get a lot of accessories. Now, the price point is the only thing that is kind of the turn off for the set because like I said, Target is asking almost $60 for this set. I think it's like a couple dollars short to be 60 bucks, but I mean, it's still a great set, so if you can't afford it, I highly recommend you, you guys pick it up. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna pick this up because a lot of people were excited for this particular ultimate set. Now, you guys let me know in the comments below, which, you know, is this gonna be a pickup or is it a pass? And which head sculpt is your favorite one and which way to display, you know, what way are you gonna be displaying Tiffany? Let me know, I mean, if you pick up one set, what is gonna be the way you're gonna display her? Uh, my favorite out of the two is definitely Tiffany. I think Tiffany is the, the best figure from the set. And I love that we can have different ways to display her, especially with the wedding outfit. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think about the set. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you guys haven't. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around till the end. We'll see you soon. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.